and I can see Africa myself speaking as a continent with a greater unity, greater uniformity than any other continent in the world. And Mwalik Julius Kambarage Nyerere, a.k.a. the father of the East African Great Lakes country, Tanzania. In the year 1961, he helped Tanganyika gain her independence from Britain colonial rule. The struggle for independence wasn't as easy as people think. Nyerere needed a serious team of people to help him accomplish his goal. This made him form a political party called Tanganyika African National Union, TANU, in 1954 as a body of unification for the struggle of independence. Today we remember among of the people that helped Nyerere in the struggle for independence like Bibi Titi Mohammed, Kles Sykes and his sons Abdul Wahid and Ali Sykes, Cecil Matola, Thomas Platon, Tewa Said Tewa, just to mention a few. Nyerere always believed in unity as among the key elements of success. In his leadership, he introduced the policy of Ujamaa, meaning familyhood, as the basis for national development because he believed as Africans, in order to develop, we need to unite and forget our differences. Till today, Nyerere is recognized as among the faces of Africa that promoted unity and nationalism. It should be known that it was him and Dr. Abed Aman Karume of Zanzibar who united in 1964, forming the United Republic of Tanzania. As the Swahili saying goes, Umoja ni nguvu, utengano ni udhaifu, meaning unity is power and separation is weakness. Henry Ford once said, coming together is a beginning. Staying together is progress, and working together is success. Teamwork is the key.